People who own XRP, you are being tricked. It is something we are going to talk about. We are going to deal with it. All of you are welcome to the group. My name is Nick. If this video is your first time on the channel, I hope you decide to join by the end. If you're watching and not following me on all platforms, you should go to the description below and follow me on all platforms. You should also join the free Discord if you haven't already to make sure you're crushing this cycle and getting very rich. Now that we know that, let's talk about a few things. First, the market went down. In the past two days, XRP has made a pretty big move to the upside, rising almost 66 cents from its low point. However, it is now back below 60 cents. Who would have thought it was true? Now, I told you what I thought would happen on X, and I also told you in the film this was my main point of view. That's what I meant. XRP got close to that 70 cent range, and now it's time to hit those lows. All the bulls thought I was crazy when I said the goal was 44 cents to 51 cents. The whole period was at its most positive, but Bitcoin was at its most bearish. XRP hasn't had its time yet. And this is what I thought. As of the 21st, I said I wouldn't mind if XRP took the money from the recent high in the 70 cent range before meeting the 47 cent fair value gap. And this is how that chart looked. The first initial high point and the first initial liquidity goal were both around 65 cents. Right now, this is what the XRP market looks like. Let's quickly look at this. It was on the three-day chart. This is XRP's three-day chart. There have been many changes since the last high, but this was the goal, which was around 64 cents. We bought XRP for about 66 cents and are now selling it. I have a thought about this picture that I will share soon, but first I want to talk about this fair value gap. On the whole, this means that there is a large amount of money that could be used with XRP, which is between 44 and 51 cents. We could then have a bullish sweep of those lows before we go even higher above 75 cents. This would close the fair value gap. I did say on the 21st that both the RSI and the stock RSI are getting close to a point where I would start to be wary. That being said, I wouldn't get too excited until we close above 75 cents. Let's see what happens this week. On the, but it's different every time across the board. I'm not sitting here saying, hey, I told you so. No, just as often as I'm right, I'm also wrong. In this case, this is what I expect from Bitcoin. We just filled an upward fair value gap that was pointing down. And this is where we would see a strong turn down. There is a rise in bullish mood, even though we are at important support levels. On the lows, the strong fair value gap is between 60 and 63K. I think we'll be able to make $74,000 or more after that. Here is what the Bitcoin market looks like right now. It doesn't look quite the same as the chart I posted on the 21st, mostly because I changed how the map was put together overall. But in the end, we still have this fair value gap up here, which means that prices are going down. We're taking the money from the highs to fill the gaps and then running to the lows. That's exactly what took place today. We ran all the way down to around 62.2K. We'd love to see it. And as you can see, this fair value gap had to be filled all the way down to about 59.9K. We didn't need to go that low. Are there still chances that we'll run that low? Yes, but we don't need to fill the whole gap. That area has already been touched on, which is very important. The big question now is whether we will go over $74,000. What we're looking for is the big moment when Bitcoin breaks over $72,000 to prove that it has made that move to $74,000 or more. And you might be thinking, Nick, that's a long way from now since we're trading at about $64,700. Uh, it is, in fact, a long way off. We are, however, waiting for that very thing. We are then in a range while we wait for Bitcoin to decide what it wants to do. That's why I said not to buy altcoins right now. It's not their time yet. That's why I said in the tweet that was quoted above that it wasn't XRP's or any other altcoins time yet, since Bitcoin is still trying to find its footing and is currently the most popular cryptocurrency. These are some more general ideas about what we might be able to do with XRP. With prices between 51 and 44 cents, we can stay above these low points. We don't even have to close the fair value gap. In fact, we could start with the latest low point, which is about 54 cents. Again, this is just a range. Break to the upside, fill this up a fair value gap, and then range down some more. Isn't this all supply zone? Like this whole area up here is a supply zone. We could stay in this band and then break to the upside again. This week's high point of 66 cents needs to be broken, though. There is a lot of work to be done for XRP here. I don't think anything crazy will happen until Bitcoin's hold on the market really starts to fall apart and Bitcoin starts to rise again. Besides that, how are people who own XRP being manipulated? All right, let's talk about that. We have some whale deals going on over here. That's why Sentiment Feed wrote a great post about it. They actually made two posts. This first one is the XRP Ledger, which was one of the best performers in July, thanks to a lot of activity on the chain and large amounts of whale trades. The coins went up 35% in one month, thanks to network growth. And social power is now through the roof, even though the asset has slightly gone back down. Right now, this is how the whole look kind of looks. Uh, we have the number of whale transactions, the growth of the network, and the amount of social power. So there are 4,727 whale deals worth $100,000 or more. 9,482 wallets were made. And also social influence, XRP and the XRP and the XRP system are talked about in 2.59% of all track crypto conversations. So very important. Please pay attention to the whale trades as they are very important as every time this kind of gets up, there is a run up to the upside and then a huge sell off. 
and it usually has something to do with an event. Here we have the XRP system has been getting more sharks and whales, which has made its price go up against Bitcoin. In just five weeks, there are now 2389 more wallets with 10,000 or more coins on the XRP system. That's why this has been growing so quickly. Also, at least 100,000 in the red line. All the wallets that have at least 100,000 XRP in them are shown by the red line. If you look closely, you can see that there was a steady rise to the upside. This makes me wonder if we are being manipulated 100%. If so, why do I believe so strongly? Because from the 17th to the 23rd, whales began to buy. They bought at the lows and in the mid to low 50 cent range. Okay, keep in mind that these are deals worth more than $100,000. Okay, so big move to the upside of 30% equals about $30,000. That's all they really need to make a lot of money quickly from one big push to the top. So while we're talking about that, why are we also talking about these whales? It's really very easy. Not long ago, we saw an organized move to get around this Sunshine Act warning. I've been here for a while. For people who own XRP and have been around for a while, you know that the Sunshine Act notice or meeting has been going around for a long time. Every time this comes up, everyone looks at it and thinks XRP settlement coming, even though it has nothing to do with Ripple or XRP. That personal group that wants to connect the Sunshine Act notice and these meetings to XRP and Ripple, I'm telling you now. They only want your opinion. They want you to click on their links. They want you to marry them. They want you to pay attention. They are not interested in your well-being or your money. Nothing but garbage has been showing up on my feed for a few days now. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has canceled the meeting between Ripple and the SEC to talk about a deal for XRP. This is really silly. And look at the promise. They want this. They want to see this. This is where the supposedly secret secret lawsuit meeting for Thursday was just called off. Also, guess what? As soon as this was stopped, we sold off. The whales know how to deal with people. They're not stupid. Today is the day of a very important secret meeting about Ripple vs. Sexy. This could be the way to settle Ripple's case for good. Have you bought a lot of XRP? Here, a stolen copy of a secret meeting plan for the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple Lab settlement on August 1st is breaking news for Ripple employees. Yes, that's right. It's August 1st and we sold off, not to mention the unlocking of the trust that took place. It looks like this was a well thought out pump and dump. There is a lot of talk about an XRP deal right now on Justin Bloomberg. It took place on the 17th. OK, now let's look at that picture again where the whales were gathering. That's it, folks. That's right from the 17th to the 23rd. There were six days in a row when there were only positive posts about a possible deal. Even Bloomberg, a huge news organization, added to the buzz. Even over here at Bloomberg, payment rumors push XRP to the front of the crypto rise. Whales were smart enough to know what to do. OK, so they weren't pushing these stories. Stories took care of that for them. They only believed what everyone else said. They bought a lot, drove up the price, and now they're selling it at a loss, just like every other time. The event came and went without a hitch. That's why I hate looking at these times. I don't want to pay attention to any of these secret talks. Meetings are not meetings at all. We won't know anything about the times until we see a statement. None of these secret talks have anything to do with Ripple or XRP. Uh, you won't know when the payment takes place. Since I was over here, I said that whales have been messing with XRP 